YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In the aftermath of the interest rate decision, uh, we are going to look at the market and see how our forecast has been catching out, um, and we need to update the analysis as well. Uh, so, first of all, we'll discuss the forex section that will include the Euro, British pound, and DXY. I haven't I've actually seen the DXY chart yet, but I have seen and analyzed the Euro and British pound, so I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a problem. And in the later half of that, we'll look at precious metal that shall include gold and silver and then we we'll look at uh, gdx and gdxj how things are going on so uh, the first of all let's have a look on uh, hourly time frame chart and we want to see uh, where we are at from the bottom so we are doing pretty good from the bottom uh, right over here we have a previous uh, a smaller degree five wave structure and that ends right over here so wave one is definitely extended we can clearly see that right over here uh, and we are still looking at it. We have a corrective pattern and I believe that we have completed the corrective pattern that took quite a bit of way. We were expecting that it would come something like this. Instead, it has created a flat correction and a zigzag correction and another zigzag correction. So a double three structure is basically we are seeing. So uh, we are right at the lower end of the wave uh, four and I believe that we have found support so we can say finally that we are close to the uh, we uh, probably have completed the com wave 2 already so we can use this lower end uh, price just beyond over here uh, as a stop loss to go long right over here. we are expecting price to go up and create wave 3 right over here and it could be possible that maybe it's just a zigzag 5 3 uh, sorry 5 3 5 pattern and it's also possible that we are looking for something a 5 wave structure from the bottom so both things are possible but one thing is sure that we are looking for a bullish move and that's what the forecast still holds so i wanted to point out that the move on the top is not over because it looks like that a lot of people are going to say maybe it's a truncation but i think it's not a truncation as per my analysis and we are going on the bullish side as well uh, let's have a look at british pound and british pound is also showing a very interesting pattern uh, we are seeing a flat correction that has an expanded flat correction or double three structure more likely uh, we have actually a b and c structure and a zigzag structure and which is a, a five three five structure and another zigzag structure so uh, it looks like we have completed the mm, uh, the structure in wave two so we have the first impulsive wave as wave one and a corrective structure as wave two or this as wave a and this as wave b and then we are expecting for a bullish move on the upper side so that still holds i wanted to include that i just wanted to uh, make sure that i can show that this wave is part and this longer wave that we have seen is part of the corrective structure and it's not the wave that you're looking for yet so we are still bullish on british pound and euro nothing has changed on that and uh, let's have a look at DXY. Now DXY is pretty good. Uh, we have seen deeper correction. We were expecting for the prices on the lower side. Instead, the correction has gone uh, this way. So, which is pretty good. We are looking some interesting pattern. I would turn bearish on the next two three days. I'm expecting for the bearish move in uh, DXY. Um, and we have expecting a similar bearish move in gold and silver as well. We'll talk about it in a bit. So. Uh, I'm still bearish in uh, uh, as given that the top right over here I'm still bearish in uh, US dollar as well which is a DXY index all right let's have a look uh, and the structure once again we can use the structure right over here this wave on the beyond is not part of impulsive wave that you are actually uh, looking for so it's not like the the truncation has occurred and we have seen the reversal no I don't think so that we have seen the completion of the structure that actually started from over here uh, it's just that th this wave is part of the correction right over here and we are expecting bearish move this is what I just wanted to present in case uh, I couldn't show you let's have a look at uh, gold and silver and uh, there was an interesting comment uh, and I would like to address that comment I think uh, the comment was that uh, even though the fundamental news came uh, mm, uh, should be gold should be bullish how come it turned bearish the reason is the structure that started uh, mm, as an expanded flat structure that we are looking for is not complete yet so we gotta look that and like anything uh, stock market and that's how I look at it is is a combination of different layers or a different degree of waves so you just cannot look at um, at news of uh, just one degree and say okay yeah 
there are people who are probably um, a lot who have been long in gold for a good while and they are taking profits that's what you are seeing on the larger time frame and that could be the reason that people are still not bullish on on gold even though in spite of the um, stronger rate cut that we were expecting we got that 0.5 uh, 0 0.5 and then but still uh, gold did not go high okay the knee-jerk reaction we did see prices go beyond and this is a knee-jerk reaction but as a whole you can see that that reversed plus more as well we are bearish and right now we are looking at a corrective pattern so the pattern that actually started from over here wave a wave b and wave c is just not over and if you look at it then we have been going on a um, quite a bit we have quite i think the bottom was quite a bit so maybe there are people who are uh, taking off their portion of gold and look at the bottom right over here uh, from even not even this one bottom the bottom is right over here uh, this bottom right over here so from 1600 bottom all the way to 2500 bottom mm, for precious metals is a massive move all right and i think that's what a, a lot of people are probably um, you know distributing their weight in in, in distributing their share of investment in precious metals that's probably happening or some other thing maybe I cannot explain but the p one thing is clear that structure that actually started from over here is yet not complete and that's why I was uh, 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 saying that gold expected to be bearish we are yet not completed the pattern so I cannot say a victory vic victoriously that yeah look at my uh, pattern uh, analysis it was all right but we have seen the reversal a bit it was supposed to go long but it has, hasn't so there's the possibility that we'll see uh, the completion of this. There's a higher probability that we'll see the completion of the flat, expanded flat correction that we forecasted. And now once again, this is a probability. That's what we can do uh, the best. We can come out with the most prob probable uh, wave count. So let's have a look on a smaller time frame and see what's happening. Uh, let me go back on a 15 minute chart uh, and that should be good. And then we can use this here. So you can see that we went up all the way over here and then we have come down and we are clearing a structure which is just uh, which is completing which is sitting right on top of the previous low all right so this is good indication that we this move is valid and this structure is also indicating that we are just gathering some more uh, volume or momentum to go on the bearish side I am I remain bearish on gold and uh, gold miners as well we look at silver so you can simply uh, put your stop loss on the top right over here and expect to carry it further down I'm on from the top I'm expecting about a $300 drop next two three days are going to be interesting um, the reason is because uh, euro and British pound are very close to the making the com uh, completion of the pattern so could gold also be matching the uh, the timelines so that's a very important question uh, so that's what I'm saying next few days uh, three four five days are very interesting there's a probability that we can probably see a lot of strong wave on the bearish side in a very small amount of time uh, let's have a look at silver and once again silver too uh, has shown a knee-jerk reaction you can see that it pushed prices higher we have created a new high uh, beyond that one and right after that we have seen uh, the reversal strong reversal right now you're sitting the correction pattern seems to be almost complete of the previous structure that we have right over here so we're just sitting at the lower end of that structure and that's very interesting to see I remain bearish on silver nothing has changed in that regard if you are if you, if you remember it very well and then I said we can use a previous high on a daily time frame which is this one right over here at our stop loss and the prices has not gone beyond that so it's pretty interesting uh, uh, trading setup and uh, there the once again since the uh, British pound and euro and US dollar are expecting to meet their uh, price target in a very short period of time maybe in two to three days could gold and silver be matching that move this is a very important question and we'll keep an eye uh, on the timing as well uh, GDX uh, once again if you look at GDX it uh, scared me first of all I have already told you guys that I have a bearish uh, position in GDX uh, in uh, using options so that was that once again that was my first options trade hour so um, and it did give me a little scare but I still remain uh, you know in profit in that option already so 
you know it's going pretty good we have once again a knee jerk reaction for gdx going upward but the reversal is strong uh, right now the market is closed mm, and i do not seem to get a a chart where we have a continuation i seem to just have this chart i don't i don't know where i can get a continuation chart uh, or maybe if, if that not possible i'm not sure what's happening whether gdx is uh, traded off market uh, or not uh, GDXJ is showing a similar behavior. We are expecting GDXJ to come down in a stronger way. Let's have a look. Uh, I think I t forgot to tell you guys about GDX uh, potential target. Let's have a look on a four hourly time frame chart. And this is our potential target, the lower end here. All right. We are expecting GDXJ, uh, GDX to create a bottom somewhere around in this area. GDXJ has a similar pattern as well. We are once again we expecting GDXJ to all come down all the way down over here in this region, and we are expecting um, bottom somewhere around 40, 30, all right, 40 dollars and 30 cents is a potential target for GDXJ. And if they can match, um, gold and silver can match the timing of uh, euro and US dollar and uh, British pound, then we are looking at an exceptional move, all right. And I think so. If that happens, that will be at a amazing buying opportunity wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye-bye